today I am going to show you how to make a pendant light out of an old um, strainer for your kitchen. Uh, I bought the strainer at Goodwill Outlet. It cost less than a dollar and I wanted to make a light out of it. It's really a comedy of errors here <laughs> because I wanted to make a light and hang some old um, silverware that I had um, collected, that I've collected and um, yet that didn't happen. I couldn't figure out how to get it on there, but you'll see that in the video. Um, so let's get going. The first thing that you'll want to do is take your light socket and measure where you'll want to cut. I just marked it here. Um, I didn't have a Sharpie on hand, so this is a dry erase marker. Um, but I just measured around where it would need to cut and then um, filled in the spaces that I missed. Next, you'll want to cut your hole. This uh, was really soft aluminum, so I just used these wire cutters here. These are actually Dollar Tree wire cutters and uh, my little needle nose pliers. And um, once I got a hole big enough, I was just able to use the needle nose pliers and kind of pry up where I needed it to go. Be careful, this piece that I pried up, it was very sharp and it left sharp edges. So you'll see here in a minute, um, I am going to, and I'm a little bit out of frame here, sorry. Um, I'm gonna just kind of fold down with the pliers um, anything that was sticking up and sharp. Um, then just place your light kit in there um, and screw on the bottom. Here is where I was going to put these hanging down so it looked a bit more like a chandelier um, and spent a lot of time trying to do that and it just didn't work. I first used um, some jump rings and some wire and um, it looked okay and then it didn't work uh, like I wanted it to so I decided to use some jute twine, jute twine that also didn't work so here's me taking everything off and all of the jump rings and um, just using it as is. And here is the final project hung up over my workstation in the kitchen. Uh, I just love the shadows that it casts on the wall. It's so cute and just what this corner needed here. Um, thanks for watching. I hope to see you again.